shadows of its bigger brothers the guitar and the violin, the Hegalong is starting to come out of its shell, thanks to the efforts of musician extraordinaire Diwa de Leon. The Hegalong is a two-string native Philippine guitar used by the Tivoli tribe. One string does the melody and the other one does the static note or the drone. Combining traditional and new elements has been used and abused for decades, but this musical prodigy assures that his Hegalong project adds new twists to an old concept. Ang Hegalong kasi, uh, isa to sa mga pinaka-underrated na instrumento ng Pilipinas eh. Ang laging kilala ng buong mundo ay mga kulintang, yung mga kubing. Ako naman, meron akong parang personal mission. Gusto ko yung Hegalong maging parang cultural global icon siya. Nakatulad ng sa India, meron silang sitar. Sa China, meron silang violin na erhu. Parang ganun. Gusto ko siyang ma-promote na masumikat kasi kapantay ng mga instrumentong ano, Southeast Asian at Asian instrument. Dahil napakagandang instrumento nito. At uh, masyado siyang nakukulong sa konsepto ng traditional. Ang ginagawa ko, ang tinatawag ko na Hegalong Project, Meron, gumawa ako ng mga sarili kong likhang komposisyon gamit ng mga mas modern na mas modern na lengguahe ng music in particular yung uh, electronic music at new age music tapos sasabayan ito ng ay hindi, baliktad pala yung hegalong sasabayan ng mga new age at saka electronic music na ako rin yung gumawa tapos yung hegalong sa yung parang pinaka lead melody and just like any new undertaking that needs exposure, the Hegalong Project's mastermind has turned to the World Wide Web for promotions. And so far, the reception has been great. Kasi yung ano, since ang target nga is the global audience, nagsimula ako sa pinaka-global na market na available, which is the internet. So I made a YouTube channel and I posted videos of myself playing my compositions using the Hegalong. And the... Uh, the international reaction was very, very positive. Uh, a lot of them, the so surprise sila, dahil ngayon lang sila, dahil ngayon lang nila nalaman na meron palang ganong instrument from the Philippines, and they like how it sounds. And uh, maganda yung, I, according to them, nagustuhan nila yung pag-combine ko ng electronic music with the Hegelo. So I think, uh, from that point, talaga naging ano na uh, nagiging successful na siya albeit in a smaller scale but i'm very and very much continuing to promote it ngayon nasa meron na rin akong page sa facebook and meron na rin sa website ko diwadeleon.com tuloy-tuloy lang na hegalong pino-promote ko Yun. Mainstream media is also catching up with the Hegalong project success and Shika is proud to bring you Manong Diwa's first TV interview Wala pa siyang isang taon eh. Uh, meron akong natatanggap ng mga interview offers from uh, cer certain channels. Pero uh, hindi pa siya ano, hindi pa nag-fruit. Na, wala pang nabubunga talaga na... Oh, kaya yung pinakauna na ano, mag interview on a, on a television program. Diwa is truly a musical virtuoso, lending his talents through composing and scoring music in films, commercials, and TV shows. But to him, the Hegalong Project is special. The Hegalong Project is my own personal uh, labor of love, kung bag sabihin natin. But, uh, kung bag sabihin na natin, I, I have a double life. Uh, on one life, I am a composer, arranger for film, uh, commercials, TV, and uh, iba-iba pang mga mainstream media. And on another life, I'm promoting the Hegalong, and I'm also part of the ethnic band called Makiling. 
But yung Hekalong Project, this is my own solo effort. The music industry is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's a harsh reality and Master Diwa has one advice for musicians who aspire to become successful in the music business either on stage or behind the scenes. Maganda nga araw sa inyong lahat. Ang masasabi ko lang sa lahat ng mga musikero at mga gustong maging uh, musikero, unang-una sa lahat, dapat magaling kayo. Kung sa tingin nyo, pinanganak kayo na may talent for music, ituloy nyo. Pero kung aminin nyo na agad sa sarili nyo habang maaga na, kung may talent kayo or wala, doon nyo yung malalaman eh. Kung, kung wala kayong talent sa talagang sinasabi rin ng ibang mga friends nyo na hindi ka makakanta ng tono or wala, huwag nyo na ituloy dahil sa music world, sa music industry, medyo matugo ang labanan. So kung talagang gusto mong makilala, not necessarily sumikat as a celebrity, kundi maging successful even for behind the scenes projects, kailangan magaling ka talaga. Kasi kung hindi, uh, masasayang talaga effort din. So una, alamin mo kung may talent kayo, then practice, then study, then kung talagang ano, confident kayo na yun ang gusto nyo, go na. Pero kung talagang sa simula pa lang, eh, hindi talaga kaya, huwag nyo na ituloy.